Hi there, this is Johnny at Man and Machine and this is a video uh, that's going to be on ISO 19650 Part 1 Concepts and Principles um, alongside BIM 360 Docs. So what I have here in front of me is a document that um, includes all of the references to the common data environment that I've taken out and just put in a Word document. Um, I've highlighted some of the main points um, and what I've actually done at the end of this is just to boil it down into five main points that I'm going to reference back to BIM 360 docs. So this isn't going to be every single workflow um, or every single possibility. This is just how BIM 360 docs can fulfill um, those main points. I will be covering in other videos the part two ISO 19650 um, and I will also cover this diagram here which um, is a repercussion from PAS 1192. We've got work in progress, approvals to shared, a review to publish and archives. I've um, been around for quite a while, but I'll do a specific video on that one. We're going to focus on these five main points for this video. Okay, so going through the points, we've got a CD solution and workflow that enables the development of a federated model. So what I'm doing here is I'm uploading three Revit models. Um, the architectural model is the one that contains the mechanical and the structural model. So I choose a parent file, uh, which is the architectural model in this case and then I can publish that into BIM 360 docs to give me a federated uh, file that I can then view in one place. So this would allow people without Revit to be able to uh, view the Revit models, um, to be able to interrogate the model. Um, so we've got things like section planes. One of the new features is being able to hone down on floors. We've also got the ability to uh, look at specific categories from Revit as well and actually see all the data inside those objects. So as well as the federated model, we need to be able to archive within our CDE. Uh, within the BIM 360 docs, it's very easy to archive. So in projects, we can just archive that project and then depending on our quality procedures, do what we need to. The next is revision codes and status codes. So I'm going to be pulling these from a PDF inside of BIM 360 docs. So within BIM 360 docs plans area, you have an OCR scanner. And what I'm doing here is I'm just adding the attributes that are the status code and the revision so that I can add the metadata into those columns in, in BIM 360. That'll allow me to search for those status codes or, or revisions if I need to. But when I've got those attributes added, um, I'll be able to create a template that will allow me to suck that information directly off the PDFs. So there's not gonna be any disparity between the document itself and what's actually on the sheet. So as long as it's gone through a kind of approvals process before it gets to BIM 360 docs, the information will be correct. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just creating the template and defining where I want to pull the information from. So where the number is going to come from, where the title is going to come from, um, where the status code is going to come from and the revision. And I could add as many attributes as I want and it could be bespoke things like barcodes. Um, you don't even have to use drawings for this. I've seen a, a couple of people use other things. But the important thing is when we're talking about ISO uh, 19650 is that I have the revision and the status code. And I can review that information, make sure that I've got all of that information in there um, and that it's correct as per what is on the drawing. I can then publish that and that will go uh, into the folder and this can be shared with whoever has permissions to this folder. It's the permissions are very granular in BIM 360 docs. Um, and I'm able to view that online as well. So the last thing is transmittals capability. Um, issue updates inside of BIM 360. So what I just did by um, uploading those drawings is I could have said that that folder was uh, actually a single trans a transmittal perhaps. So I got an email to say that that had happened. And I've also got the audit trail for anybody who's uploaded anything or viewed anything um, into BIM 360 docs. And I can actually output that to, into an Excel sheet if I wanted to. And I can entirely audit down to the nth degree exactly what's happened on this project. Um, so I've got a very good paper trail in terms of what's happening. Um, so if I'm looking at something very specific, I can find that. So the very quick overview on BIM 360 docs in relation to ISO 19650. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please do get in touch with us at Man and Machine.